the past two years, Chaz Bono has written a book, made an Emmy-nominated documentary, and oh yeah, he began transitioning from female to male. And since he has no pressure or drama in his life, he decided to join the cast of Dancing with the Stars, which premieres this Monday night. So joining me now to talk about all of that is the very self-same Chaz Bono. Hi, Chaz. How are you? It's so great to have you here again. It's good to be here. Thanks, Joy. Okay. So uh, why did you exactly say yes to Dancing with the Stars? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know why people are motivated to do that show. What's yours? To do that show? Yeah. Uh, you know, I thought it would be, I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be a challenge. You know, for so many years, I was so physically uncomfortable in my body that the idea of doing something that would uh, be challenging and really different than anything I'd ever done before was appealing to me. So it's just another challenge. You're into that. Challenge. Well, yeah. No, <laughs> no. I, I thought, I thought, I mean, I thought it would be, I thought it would be fun and, and, uh, yeah, physically challenging, get me in better shape, and I thought that it would be a way to kind of reach more people than I have thus far. I'll tell you something, Chaz. Everyone loses weight except for Bristol Palin on that show. She, everybody gets thinner, so you're going to lose weight. Have yeah. you been losing weight already? You look a little smaller to me. Yeah, I have been. I have been. So. So that's a nice. It's hard not to. To do the show and lose weight, you know? Yeah, exactly. And yet she did that. So, um, you know, the thing that's been bothering me about this whole thing is that you've been receiving hate mail and death threats. Uh, when you signed on for the show, did you think there would be a controversy of, the, of, of this enormity? I mean, people, this shrinks of talking Probably. about you and everybody. Well, I mean, that, the, 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 sh the shrink that's talking about me is, is, is a right-wing activist and you know first and foremost and who happens to be an MD I think not the other way around mm -hmm. um, but no I don't think I I envisioned something of this magnitude but of course I did know that there would be some uh, you know controversy about it well let me clear up uh, what you're talking about the uh, dr. Keith Ablo or now I'm gonna start calling him dr. Keith Ablo hard um, he referred. Yeah, I have a different nickname for him, I but know, I can't say it I know. in the show. We tried that one during the commercials. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. anyway, <laughs> he referred to your presence on, on Dancing with the Stars as toxic in, an, in a Fox News editorial. He told parents not to let their kids watch the show. What, what, first of all, you can see my reaction. What was your reaction when you first read that? I didn't read it. I don't. I mean, he's written a few things about me, and, you know. He's not one of my favorite authors, so I don't read him. <laughs> Dickens, Ablo. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, so so you had. What's your reaction now? Would you, as you you hear about it again, does it hurt your feelings? Does it bother you? No, it doesn't hurt. No, it doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I mean, look at he's got an agenda and he's jumping all over this to try to further himself and his career and. And that's what it's all about. But so, it's so destructive. No. It's so destructive. Uh, he, you know, let, let me just, I'm going to, because it was on Howard Stern also talking about it. And we have a little tape about it. I'd like to, I'd like to listen to it so that we know what we're talking about with this guy. Here's an analogy. If a person came to me tattooed as a zebra. Right. Zebra man. Right. Now, look, I'm not... You wouldn't put him on TV, Zebra Man? <laughs> well, on TV, but if you want me to agree with you that you're a zebra, well, now you're invading my reality. It's dancing with a woman as a man. If, I'm not going to have my kids watch a show in which people pretend to be farm animals. So he's comparing you to an animal. Have you, do you have the feeling of just calling him a horse's ass? No, I really just don't pay attention to it. It's so it's so absurd, and it's such um, irresponsible, you know, th m medical things that he's talking about. I mean, it's 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 not what the American uh, Psychiatric Association even believes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he he sort of alludes to it as if everybody is what they seem to be. You know, like all the people who go on these shows are not neurotic, are not crazy, have not had affairs, maybe have had lesbian. Everybody's got something. So he says, you know, right. so yours is just a, a little bit more blatant at this point than most people's, you know. Um, anyway. Well, I'm, I'm just I'm exactly honest about who I am. That's right. So um, let me ask you something. So uh, when you're on the show, are you going to, are they going to identify you as a transgender person or are they just going to say, Chaz no. Bono, what are they going to do? Um, I think, uh, you know, author and activist. Author and activist. 
I like that. Yeah. So, the, so the, the subject uh, for children is not going to even come up. It's not going to be, oh, uh, that the parents have to say, well, this is Chaz Bono. He used to no. be female. Now he's transitioned into a male. We don't even have to have that discussion. No. I mean, I think it's for, for fair-minded, you know, open-minded Americans who want to teach their children about tolerance and diversity, it will open up great dialogue. But mm -hmm. if you don't want to, you certainly don't need to. Uh-huh. You know, last time I spoke to you, we talked about your mother, Cher, and mm -hmm. how she was dealing with your transition. Well, yesterday when you were on Ellen, uh, she called in and spoke about what she'd do, what she would say to people who are boycotting Dancing with the Stars. Let's listen. Those are such feelings of hostility and fear that I don't know, like, that I would have any magic words that could make you feel more comfortable and to, you know, soothe you into not being terrified if my child dances on Dancing with the <laughs> Stars. <laughs> She's always Cher. Um, so that must have made you feel good, right? To hear mom come on the Absolutely. show and defend you like that? Yeah, it was great. I mean, because I know that, um, you know, she was not always on board with this whole thing, according, according to your docu documentary, and we talked about it last time you were here. She seems to be right. coming along beautifully. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I, like I said then, it's, it's a process. You know, it's something, especially for parents, it, it, it's probably the hardest process that, that you need to go through. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think she's, as time goes on, becoming more and more comfortable. Yeah. She also, uh, she also joked that um, you're doing Dancing with the Stars is just as scary as doing the change. I mean, do you, yeah, she was kidding. I know. She just doesn't have a lot of faith in, in my footwork, it seems. <laughs> well, you know, she should. I mean, musical ability very often is genetic. Both your parents are musical talents, you know. Right. So I would think it's a, it's a slam dunk for you to be a good dancer. Are you a good dancer? I'm a fair dancer, probably. Uh huh. Will she be there to watch you dance? Uh, I, you know, not that I know of at this point. Oh, really? Like Sarah Palin? I think she'd be more popular. Sarah got booed when she was there. Remember that? Yeah. It's it's a tricky. Yeah. It's tricky to bring your mother there. <laughs> you never know. They'll turn on your mother. Imagine if they brought uh, Joan Crawford there one time. They'll be horrifying. Um, so anyway, so all together about Cher, has this brought the two of you closer together, the whole, the whole Dancing with the Stars thing and all the, all the things you've been saying in the documentary and everything? Uh, I, I mean, I, like I said, I think it's a, uh, I think it's a process. And, and uh, definitely, you know, when somebody insults your kid, it probably, you know, helps you to figure out really where you stand on something. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, don't, don't curse my mother and don't curse my kid. Right. Those are the rules of the road. Um, exactly. So uh, the, now, as we discussed last time, I know you're taking testosterone shots. So how is everything going with that? Are you feeling good? Are you growing more hair? Yeah. You, you know, tell I me. Feel, I feel great. You know, I feel, I've, other than the fact that from my knees down, I'm very sore. I feel great. Why are you sore from your knees down? From dancing hours at a oh, time the dancing. every day. I forgot already. Oh my God, I forgot already <laughs> what we we're talking about. I was concentrating on the hair on your face, which I see a little bit. Is that hairy over there? Or? Yeah. Which is, that, which is yeah. the worst kind of shaving now that you've tried both the shaving? The legs, the armpits, the face, which is it? Uh, I, I don't, I, you know, I mean, I waited my whole life to be able to shave my face, so there, I, it doesn't bother me at all. I, I, I have the same problem. I'm Italian. Okay, <laughs> stay right there, because when we come back, we're going to bring out your dancing partner. <laughs> cool. Okay. I'm back with Chaz Bono, and we are joined by his Dancing with the Stars partner, Lacey Schwimmer. Okay, Lacey, what do you make of the controversy surrounding Chaz being on the show? I really don't care. I mean, it's, I think it's unnecessary and he's just every, he's like everybody else out there. He wants to dance, he wants to shake his thing on national television and people should let him be happy. Well, we all agree on that, you know, but uh, is anybody, I'm, I'm so, I think, I seem to be the only one in this triad here who's pissed. Are you angry? Makes me mad. You know, 
No, it, it does make me mad because he is my friend and I've gotten to know him and he's one of the greatest guys I've ever gotten to know. And so it's, um, it is, it's, it's pretty difficult to hear bad things about someone that you care about and love. Yeah. But, Chaz, um, are you repressing the, time, the rage? Whatever. Chaz, are you repressing the rage? Because you seem very, uh, you know, s s calm. No, look, I mean, I've been doing this stuff for, you know, I mean, I was an activist since 1995. So I'm I'm pretty used to this. You're used to it. It's yeah. not it's not he's you know this isn't the first time that somebody's attacked me. I say. Okay, but but what about um about you Lacey? Have you gotten any flack for even being on the show with Chaz or not? You know, I mean, fans of mine or followers or whatever, you know, they disagree with it, but for me, it, it, I'm just telling everybody to be happy for me and, and support me and support him. And, you know, that's that's all we can do. Right. We're, we're not really focusing on the negative at this point. Yeah. Okay. There's too much, you know, I mean, getting ready to dance on national TV for the first time is live is is daunting. <laughs> so there's really not that much time to focus on all this. Right. I don't know why anybody would do that show, frankly. I mean, it looks like a, it, to me, it looks like a nightmare in hell, frankly. All right. But, you know, just to, just to tell you that you do have a lot of fans out here, Chaz, and people who are rooting for you. Nancy Grace, our own Nancy on HLN, she said regarding Chaz on Dancing with the Stars, she's also going to be on. She said, I'm a lot less concerned about what he has in his pants than what he has in his shoes. Okay. <laughs> so, all right, let's get to the dancing. How's the dancing going, Chaz? I mean, it's going. You know, it's going. It's uh, don't sound so convincing. <laughs> it's it's challenging, but I, you know, I think it's Im improvements have been made for sure. How, right? well, oh yeah, Lacey, every day. Every yeah. day. You tell me, Lacey, is he a good dancer? You know, he has some stuff up his sleeves that I don't think people are ready for. He um, he has a lot of rhythm. I mean, that's kind of natural. But, you know, we're working very hard on keeping his body in one piece at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he um, he doesn't like his feet very much at the moment. Yes. You don't like your feet, no. Well, no. are you it, nervous? I have, you know, I've got extremely flat feet. My dad's feet were so flat he, was, he, he got spared from the draft. So... <laughs> Um, and I have his feet, so that they're, they don't make me happy right I now. I say So it's hard to dance with flat feet, isn't it? Ballet it is. dancers yes. are famous for their arch, you know, so... Exactly. I would think it would be much more difficult. But how about the stage fright? Are you nervous about appearing in front of everybody, Chaz? Sure, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really... Doing this on live TV is it's scary. It's, it's, you know, I've never... I've done a lot of things on television, but dancing isn't one of them. I know. So... <laughs> That's scary. But it course. can't be scarier than what you what you've been going through. You know? It's um it's a piece of cake. sure, it's different. I mean Yeah. Yeah, it's it is it is it's really, you know, to to do something so out of your comfort zone and and know that you're doing it to such a large audience is um is scary. Yes. Who's the biggest competition, do you think? <laughs> Everybody. I mean, yeah. it's really too soon to say, you know, I, I think after Monday we'll have a better yeah. opinion on that. But We have ideas, but I think, we'll really know on after Monday. But I think your biggest competition is yourself. You're very hard on yourself. Well, thank you. Well, I no, there, no, no, uh, Lacey, it's not himself. There are other people on the show. He's got to go up against <laughs> Nancy Grace. Nancy might yes. be yes. a better dancer. You know, you know, she's... She's good at everything we've heard good she does. Things. We've heard great things about her. And yeah, we've heard She's good super things. sweet, so, yeah, probably. Yeah, all right. I mean, I, I, I would be physically, I'm physically afraid of Nancy myself, so don't go by me. Um, okay, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you coming thank by. You. It was delightful Thanks to see us. you, Chaz. Good luck, and we're rooting you for you over here. Thanks a lot. And you can see Chaz and Lacey on the premiere of Dancing with the Stars Monday night at 8 on ABC. We'll be right back.